Welcome home. Our bags aren't even gonna fit in here. Welcome to the charming village of York, England, where we're gonna be spending the next couple days in a tiny house. The funny part about this is that if you've been following the channel, we have a lot of luggage with us. Boom, 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 boom. While we're getting acclimated to our new environment, let's go ahead and do a tour. Follow me. There's about three paces to the bed. It looks like a queen bed. Pretty ample for the two of us. It's kind of short though. I don't know if Max is even gonna fit the length of this bed, but he's just gonna have to make do. Over to the right here, we have a little coffee station. We've got a kettle, two cups, and some instant coffee and tea. There also seems to be a little decanter of water, trash can. Over here is the TV. Then we've got some soap, some conditioner, an extra towel, and toilet paper. As you can see, there is no bathroom or shower here, so let's go find the toilet. So it looks like we're dealing with regular standard public bathrooms, but we do have a shower. I think our own shower, right? Look away. Oh, it's actually not a bad shower. Oh yeah. Ooh, spider. There we go. Oh yes, that looks very clean. Essentially, we'll be using this little tavern over here. We'll be using their toilets, but we do have our own showers we showed. We'll let you know how they are tomorrow morning. For now, we're gonna settle in, try to pack our bags in that small little space, and then go explore York because this is a pretty cool little town. I'm thinking right now, really importantly, we're gonna have to keep that door closed at all times. There are plenty of bugs here in England at this time of year, and in our tiny house too. I think we have the door open. First impressions are it's really cute. It's really out of our comfort zone. We've done nothing like this before and I'm excited. Let's check in from 12 hours from now. I can already tell we're not gonna be able to really open up all of them. We're just gonna have to keep them in there for storage and then hopefully have one or two open for our stuff. Well, we've officially moved in. The good news is there's space for us to get to the bed. I think that's the most important part. The bags aren't on the ground yet and we don't have them open, but I think that's a problem for later. We want to go explore York and just kind of leave our problems behind us, tucked away in this tiny house. This is a very, very historical city and we will have lots more facts for you. But today is more so just about getting acclimated to our new tiny house life. So York certainly isn't one of the larger cities here in the UK, but what it lacks in size, it makes up for in charm. It's just a really nice, walkable place, and you're gonna find a lot of things. You don't even really need an itinerary here. And so far, we're just trying to get familiar with the area that we're staying, and we can already tell that we're gonna be able to do this very easily in a day. Perfect day trip if you're near Newcastle, maybe even Manchester or Liverpool. of York today but now we are heading back to the tiny house. Now we're just gonna have ourselves a little picnic by our front yard. Our riverfront. Our porch. Please place your bag in the bagging area. Mm -hmm. 
it's hard to constantly spend and spend and spend and try to work that out so it's always nice to have a little break at tesco which is kind of their supermarket here in the uk they have pre-made wraps and you can get a meal deal where you get the wrap you get a drink and then you also get a little side bag of chips i decided to get Cool Ranch Doritos, not because I'm a huge fan of them. I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys that in the UK, they're actually not called Cool Ranch Doritos. They are called Cool Original, and I just think that's hilarious. <laughs> As for my wrap, I got a Moroccan-inspired harissa chicken. I have been absolutely in love with harissa since I've been over in Europe. It's basically just like a tomato paste that's very, very spicy. It's a very tiny wrap, but hey, 350 pounds for this. Three pounds, 50 pence. You know what? That's really nice. I guess my only complaint would be I wish it was bigger. Very good flavor. Okay, now the moment of truth. Do Doritos Cool Original UK version actually taste the exact same as Doritos Cool Ranch US version? The Cool Ranch flavor isn't necessarily fresh in my mind. I can't remember the last time I've had Cool Ranch Doritos, but I think my mind can uh, jog up some memories. Yeah, the same. Pretty much the exact same. It is kind of interesting when it comes to snacks and chips or crisps as they call them in the UK. Pretty much in every country we've been to, there's been a different version of whether it's Lay's chips or Pringles are really big here. So every time we've been in like a convenience store or supermarket, we just notice it. Like I think the best example is in Spain, they have jamón flavor everything. They have jamón Pringles, they have jamón Lay's. Paprika Pringles are another really big thing here that we never see in the U.S. I feel like they're actually not too big on ranch here. We've been to a few places where they have like buffalo chicken things, but even then it's like a dill sauce that they usually serve with it. I've not seen ranch at all. It's honestly a little bit of a shame to not have a kitchen. That's the one thing with a tiny house. I mean it's really really nice for pricing and we're saving a lot of money while being here in New York which is an awesome place but it sucks not having a kitchen because that's something we've gotten used to at the Airbnbs and it's nice to be able to cook at home every once in a while but we do see there's a grill behind us. There's no way I'm using it because it looks filthy and then there's also a fishing pole. If you wanted to catch your own fish and <laughs> grill them up I think I'll stick with my Harissa wrap. Now I know this tiny house that we're staying at isn't totally functional like there's no toilet, there's no shower, and there's no kitchen. But it would be really fun to see how long we could survive in an actual tiny house. So if you'd like to see that from us, please leave a comment down below and we might be able to try it next time around. It's not gonna be a place where I wanna spend a lot of time, which is good, because it forces us to explore York. I guess the biggest struggle, not having the bathroom is a little, a little bit of a struggle. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing we need space for is ourselves, <laughs> so. Okay, we've just changed into our pajamas, and I already have to pee again. And we might as well brush our teeth while we're at it. This feels a lot like camping, and we're not the best campers. I'm just not the most experienced. <laughs> Do you guys wet your toothbrush before toothpaste or after? I'm one of those people who does both, but I don't know if that's weird or not. I'm really concerned about how many times I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom tonight and at what time that will be. I don't know, Sid, you might need like a headlamp or something. I know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking so. Home sweet home. <sighs> oh, this is my first time sitting down. It's, it's stiff, but it could be worse, much worse. Alright, a few spiders defeated, all showered and ready to go for the day. Yeah, I think it was an interesting experience last night. I mean, I slept okay, Sydney slept okay. I only had to get up once during the night and it was actually already light out when I got out. It feels like camping in a way, but also we're like kind of in this back lot of this patio bar and it's all just very strange, but it's nice to be able to just have this little space 
and then walk right out onto one of the main streets of York. I'm so proud of myself. I did not get up once during the night to have to go to the bathroom, so kudos to me. It's a great way to do York on a budget, under 100 pounds for two nights. If you do like these videos where we're kind of reviewing our accommodations, please let us know if you want to see more, and we can definitely make that happen. We are spending the entire day exploring this old historic city. Make sure you check out that video as well. Link is below in the description. Also in the description is the link to our newsletter. If you guys are interested in booking this tiny house here in York for your stay, we'll have all the details for you in the newsletter. Make sure you subscribe, absolutely free. Definitely should check that out. And thank you so much for following along on our tiny house experience. We have one more night to survive, but I think we'll do just fine. It's a beautiful day here in York and we're looking forward to exploring. See you guys in the next video.